take a deep breath. One, two, three. It's, it's only coming out for one night, <laughs> so clearly I'm not crying. <laughs> shifts every time I'm cleaning it and I always feel like it's going to come out. Wait. First one was St. Gold's. Second second was Ghanaian. The last was Nigerian. Hello everyone. Good morning and welcome to a new vlog. Um, yeah, you're catching me halfway. Well, not halfway, but um, my day is already like happening. I'm up. I'm busy. Yesterday I spent. So if you watched the last vlog, which you should watch, linking it here or here. Um, yeah, I um, last night I was having a hard time, like trying to figure. I was getting a bit overwhelmed by all the things I had to do. So I had to write everything down and like plan out my week, which I did. I'm not as organized as I like so i'm kind of things are like just flying around my head at the moment mm, about an hour ago that was when it was at the at the peak of it i've written everything down so it always works when i'm you know panicking about all the things i have to do i just write them down and they don't get done magically by me writing them down but i feel calmer because i can look at them and like plan and decide what is going to be done first what's most important what's most urgent um, and then just make a plan and that makes me feel a lot better. There's no way I can go to bed um, with all those thoughts running around my head because I need to plan so that in the morning I wake up and I know exactly what I should be doing. Um, yeah, so I've kind of planned my day tomorrow. It's a packed day and yeah you'll find out in the next vlog what i do tomorrow and i woke up like there's nothing like planning the night before and then waking up in the morning knowing exactly what you're going to do it's fantastic so i um, woke up and i knew exactly what i was supposed to do and hit the ground running i went to the office i spent a few hours there and i'm getting my piercing today at 12 i'm at ebano now um so i'm doing my house shopping which today is the sixth so this is very late uh the whole of last week i couldn't because things just kept coming up but um so i'm doing my monthly shopping for the house now well part of it i've done part of it um yeah but there's more to do so i'm doing that now um it's about 11 o'clock right now i'm going to finish the shopping and um then i'm going to get my piercing my my appointment is for 12 so finally i'm getting it so the whole time i've been thinking of getting it here like this is where this is what seems natural this side but now i'm thinking should it be here but then i have my piercing here so which i need to get a new earring here so i'm trying to decide if i should get it on this side or this side honestly i think i'll just get it on this side because that's what seems natural to me but then it's about to happen now so i'm like thinking about it like oh gosh i need to make the right decision you know because it's such a big thing but honestly it's not that big a deal like if i don't like it i'll live with it okay so but yeah i am excited about the piercing but not so excited about the healing process because that takes a while and it's not painful but it's inconvenient because it's like right on my face so i can't wash my face gosh this week is going to be tough but anyway it's been a long time coming it's been at least six months i've been putting it off and yeah i didn't even bother calling any of my my family or friends to tell them i'm going to do it today because i've been telling them and every time i tell them i end up not doing it so i'm going to just do it and then send them pictures obviously you guys are going to see the whole process so yeah it's going to be a great week hope you guys have a great week as well and yeah i'll catch you later bye So I've been looking for this milk, um, well not recently, a while ago I was looking for like a condensed milk that's not sweetened because most of them are sweetened. Um, yeah, this is, I would like to make like a key lime pie. Yeah, I'm getting this. Alright, let's do some baking this week. Oops, just found out it's actually sweetened. Wah, wah. Guys, what are these? What's the name of this thing? That's not the real name. I can't even remember the original name, but this isn't it. I don't really understand what's going on here. What is this? Like, look at the quantity in this. It's been reduced. Obviously, this is, I don't know if it's fake or these people have just like reduced the quality and their quantity. This was at least four times the amount that's in here. Like, this is ridiculous. This is ridiculous. What is going on here? I don't even know if I can buy this. 
I think this makes more sense in terms of the price because that's much bigger. I'll just check the dates, it should last longer. I just want to chill and twist a lot, catch stunts on my 745. You drive me crazy, shorty. I need to see you and feel you next to me. I'm provide everything you need, and I like your smile. I don't want to see you cry. Got some questions that I gotta ask, and I hope you can come up with the answers, baby. Girl, it's easy to love me now. Would you love me if I was down and out? Would you still have love for me, girl? It's easy to love me now. Would you love me if I was down and out? Would you still have love for me? If I fell off tomorrow, would you still love me? If I didn't smell so good, would you still hug me? If I got locked up and set this till quarter century, could I count on you to be there to support me mentally? If I went back to hooked me for my fans, would you poof and disappear? Like some of my friends, if I was hit and I was hurt, would you be by my side? If it was time to put in work, would you be down the ride? Kill a nigga, cat, and chill and drive. I'm asking questions to find out how you feel inside. If I ain't back, I flip burgers at Burger King. Would you be ashamed to tell your friends you're feeling me? In the bed, if I use my tongue, would you like that? If I wrote you a love letter, would you write back? If we can have a little drink, you'll be like that. Okay, I'll take your word for it. But you know how to get the album, right? Yes. So you see, I've marked her now. I've looked at her face and I've seen where she could feel her face. Like the frame of her face and the whole oh, the frame of her nose. Yeah. So we follow the bridge around here so that it's more precise. And you see, I just tell her to take a deep breath one, two, three, and that's it. And it's done. And then you wear the ring into the needle, and oh, we're done. So you see, since this is a cold drink, you fall like this and come out. Just easy does it. And that's it. And if this sticks out, just push it in with the cotton bud. And that's it. Sorry. So parent the big breath breathing, you tell the person to breathe in, breathe out. Because sometimes when they're tense, they tend to blink more. The tears are normal. <laughs> you do yours yourself. <laughs> when did you get your first piercing? When? Um, like six years ago. I don't of blood. Um, it's normal. So sometimes I need the blood to stop quick. I just do this. Or it'd be easy so you don't pull out the earring. Sorry. Go back to this one. Breathe in, breathe out. But I like to use I like to use Q tips to dry around the area because it it goes through. But you need to be careful because see it's very easy for the ring to pull out. Are you saying? Yes. So don't panic, just easy does it.
<laughs> Your tears is making me tear up. <laughs> I don't want people on this video to think I'm crying because it's only coming out from one eye. <laughs> so clearly I'm not crying. <laughs> yeah, you're done. Okay, wow. So is there a stopper at the back or? No, it's just the sequel. So it's not like it'll come out easy. It's still coming. So these are the things you're going to be cleaning for people. Don't be scared when that happens. You just need to just dry them up and just see it as part of the body feel fluid. So you don't start getting squeamish. And that's it. Are you good? Yeah. Okay. Um, Okay. Yeah, yeah, I'm cool. Okay. Hi. Get the mirror. Let me have it. I need that mirror. Okay. You know what? I'm going to do that. Okay. Just can you give me the mirror? Yeah. So she has a glue on that ear. Okay. No, no, no. Up, up here. Yeah. Okay. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Thank you. Hello. She's got a piercing. I've got my piercing finally. Uh, the experience wasn't bad, and I promise you, I wasn't crying. She said it was normal, and if you check very well, you'll see that tears were coming from one eye so yeah but it was okay i mean i've had it piercing before so yeah it wasn't like it wasn't painful or anything it's a bit very painful but it's not that bad um it's the healing process that's very long and you know a bit annoying um but yeah i finally gotten my piercing and yeah i'm going back home now um what else yeah so i wasn't really sure so first of all before she did it i wasn't sure of the position um because i wasn't sure where it was supposed to be or where it, it, i just was like ah, i don't want to get it wrong and put it in the wrong place but i think it's fine um and i chose this stud she said she couldn't put a ring because of the healing process this is fine also it doesn't have a stop at the back which i'm a bit like skeptical about because i don't want it to be falling out and you know anything like that but she said it should be fine so let's see how it goes um yeah let me go home and get some work done bye oh also i got this i got this i've been wanting this for a long time i'm finally i finally gotten this so yeah excited about that as well yeah, let's go let's be traffic it's 2 1 it's 12 47 and if i leave now i won't get stuck in any traffic and i'll get home and still get stuff done i'm going to spa actually still have shopping to do let's go let's go home this is what i bought bread from spa i got this from ny yeah got all of this gargari parsley basil um onions garlic some chocolates cling film cream uh cheese sausage 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 tuna soy sauce soy sauce oyster sauce vinegar cereal cereal I bought a bottle of water, um, jam, lots of meat. So I have beef, I have chicken. Um, I'll show you the receipts and uh, shrimps, fish, everything here. Okay, mop. I got a mop and I got the floor mat. So I got that floor mat over there and that floor mat, two tail combs, tissue, and then box tissue as well. 
I don't know how I spent almost a hundred thousand. I'll show you guys the receipts, but it's crazy. It is crazy. That's it. Just that. Hmm. Hmm. Today is Wednesday and this is this has been a busy week. Um, yesterday was chaos. I couldn't come on. Um, I was getting like stuff ready for Valentine's Day. I didn't achieve what I wanted to achieve. So yesterday was kind of a waste of time, which is very annoying. I was trying to test out, I mean, an old product that I was trying to revamp and it just didn't work out the way I expected. Um, I haven't gotten out enough Valentine's Day content. I have done a reel, but yeah, I just yeah, I'm not I'm not really happy with my progress at the moment. Um, I have like ideas and things that I'm trying to you know finish so I can put out, but yeah, I'm just not done. <sighs> um, but yeah, it feels good to you know check in and just say hi to you guys because you guys are like my diary um yeah update my nose ring it's been okay it's not my first time getting a piercing so um i know what to expect it doesn't hurt um i have been cleaning it at least thrice a day um yeah the only thing i'm worried about is that it doesn't have any kind of um like uh, stopper at the on the other on the inside so it's like a c curve or something is what she called it and um it kind of shifts every time i'm cleaning it and i always feel like it's going to come out and i'm sh pretty sure that one day it will come out um yeah so i'm not looking forward to having to put it back or anything like that because you know it's a wound so i don't want to you know mess around with that with that area um but yeah it's all good i like it i love it and and i'm definitely cutting my hair because the minute i did it i was like okay this hair has to go um I was already getting tired of this hair. If you've been watching my vlogs, you know that I've complained about this hair a couple of times. Not complained. Like, I like it, but I'm just tired of it. I'm ready for something new. And the plan was always to cut everything off. So, um, <clears throat> I'm probably going to do it next week because this week is too busy. And, yeah. Another update. My nanny might be coming back. So, um, yeah. I think I'll update you guys about that later because I have to do some work now. But yeah she might be coming back and even though i'm mad at her like looking for somebody else trying to you know get someone else used to doing things the way i like things done getting someone else around my child is yeah it's something i wasn't really looking forward to and to, to be honest i kept putting off like looking for someone i mean i was looking for someone but i wasn't really giving it enough attention because i look it didn't want anybody else around in my house so um yeah i'll update you guys about that later just wanted to check in. I will catch up with you guys later. Bye. Hello, beautiful people. Hi. I feel like I haven't been on here for like a week. It's been a few days, but today is Friday. And I think the last time I was on was maybe two days ago or so. But yeah, I'm sorry this week has been so busy. I've been trying to get ready for Valentine's Day. Um, this is actually, I just wanted to check in, but I'm on my way out. So this is not a good time to like do a proper catch up. But I just wanted to say hi and make sure and check that you guys are doing well. Um, yeah, so it's been really hectic. It's been really, I'm, I'm exhausted all the time. And yeah, I'll catch up with you guys later properly. But I'm going to um, Jollof by Jara. It's a new... Uh, restaurant um, they serve West African food so I'll take you guys along on that and I will catch up properly tomorrow fingers crossed I will do like a proper proper catch up tomorrow so talk to you guys later bye what was that <laughs> bye
Jollof by Jara is owned by the people who run Jara Beach Resort and the interior was nice. They just opened I think a couple of months ago so it's very new and all the artwork was up for sale. To place your order you scan a QR code and you look at the menu on your phone and you place your order on your phone as well. <laughs> Two of the people in our group ordered the seafood okra soup and actually made us regret ordering what we did because it looked so good and they said it was really good so that's worth trying. The curated combo we ordered was actually meant to be for two people, but four of us ended up eating it. We couldn't even finish it. It was so much food. One thing I would say, the kiliwili was not kiliwili. I went to school in Ghana and that is not it. That was a big fail. Everything else was okay.
good morning i'm having some friends over for brunch so i'm making uh, french toast there's some i've done and the eggs if you stop it making apple sauce sausages and yeah it's a bit chaotic now so i'll catch up with you guys properly later um yeah bye good morning <laughs> hello everyone good evening and the vlog is ending today i'm not sure how it started off differently and it kind of ended like started like this i was like Wah. so i started off the week getting a piercing um which has been fine it's well it's not healing yet i i know now that piercings take really long to heal so this one i got last year april and it only just healed maybe three four months ago if at all that i can't remember but yeah it took a while it took much longer than i expected so i'm not expecting this to heal anytime soon um quick notes about this piercing um it's very inconvenient so that's what i was worried about and that's why i wasn't looking forward to the actual process wasn't bad but um the having to avoid my face i'm having to avoid that area while i'm washing my face is very annoying because my instinct obviously is to just like wash my face and yeah with this it was easier because it's like off my face so it was easier to avoid that but then this like i have to wash my face like this wash it like this and yeah it's just inconvenient um and then i keep playing with i shouldn't be doing this but i keep playing with it um Oh, another thing that I, I forget to do, no, another thing that I do that I shouldn't be doing is I forget it's there and then I scratch. So it gets itchy and then I start to scratch it and then I almost scratch it out. So, and then it doesn't have a stopper at the back. So I'm afraid that it might come out, but it's it has like a C hook at the back or something. I don't know, you know, it's, it's supposed to be a, a shape that shouldn't easily come out, but it can if you, you know, it the, the the right way or the wrong way anyway um, my piercing is is going well um and i'm happy with it the only thing is now that i've gotten it in, in fact immediately i got it i was like i have to cut my hair because i looked at my face and i think it will look much better with my hair shorter and i'm over this this haircut um yeah it was fun when i first got it but honestly i don't like the shape of it i don't like the way it looks on the side I don't like the way it looks like i'm just tired of it i'm over it so i want to cut it all off probably to this length or all of like gurimapa if you know what gurimapa is you know what gurimapa is like i just want to cut the whole thing off like no hair at all or i don't know if i'm brave enough to do that to be honest even though i'm curious i want to see how my hair will how my face will look with that haircut but i don't think i'm brave enough so we'll find out um in the next vlog so this vlog is ending today um yeah this week has been busy i'm hoping that next week will be better because valentine's day is on tuesday today's sunday so monday tuesday and i should be back to some sort of normalcy um where i'm not feeling undue pressure like valentine brings pressure like valentine christmas any you know festive period or you know um special thing special time when bakers are supposed to be making a lot of money there's a lot of pressure to put out stuff and to sell as much as you can um so yeah i had a lot of that this week and i was just like you know trying my best to you know put stuff out so i can get as much sales as possible but i've done my best and we'll see how the week goes um but yeah next week's vlog should be you know i'm not sure what's going on honestly you guys just follow me around around on my life um but yeah thank you for watching once again thank you for, for for subscribing if you're subscribed if you're not please subscribe to my channel it really does help um and i would love to see growth on my channel and thank you for watching just in general even if you're not subscribed which you should be but thank you for watching all my videos um if you're not watching all my videos go and watch all of them um <laughs> Yeah, another thing yes another um, exciting thing that happened this week my nanny came back um yeah that's a long story which honestly i don't know if i want to tell the whole story but the basic basically 
she wasn't happy in Lagos. She went back for the, um, to her village for the holidays and she kind of just decided she wanted to stay there um, and then realized that there was no work to be done there. And, you know, she kind of, she came back to Lagos, but then she didn't call me because she didn't know what to say or she felt bad. You know, she felt like she had messed up, basically. Um, and, yeah, my sister called her just to, like, check in on her and... Then she told her that she just didn't know how to call me. And my sister was like, call her, you know. So that's how she called me. Um, and then we had a long talk. And yeah, she started back at work. But I, and I'm really glad that she's back. I'm honestly so glad that she's back. Mostly because Ivie really likes her. And I really wasn't looking forward to looking for someone else to, you know, start all over again. Putting Ivie, you know, putting my daughter with, um, around someone that I don't know. So I'm very glad she's back. But it made me realize that um, I'm not as attentive as I should be. I really want to be a more attentive person. So I'm going to work on that. And actually, it was on my, you know, it was one of my goals. If you've watched my um, vision board um, video. Um, yeah, it's one of my goals to be more um, intentional about my relationships. And that includes relationship with my staff as well. So, yeah, I felt a bit bummed that, you know, she was going through stuff and I didn't know or I wasn't attentive enough, you know. Um, yeah, so that's that's fantastic. I'm glad that she's back. So everything is back to normal in that on that front. Um, yeah, that's the end. of Oh, 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 today was. Um, yeah, so I didn't talk about today. I actually just kind of showed you guys clips. <laughs> Of this weekend I've been off I've been really tired because like I said like I probably said a few times in this vlog Valentine's Day has you know knocked me completely out I'm even surprised I'm able to vlog at all but um, yeah so today we had um, some friends over um, my friend and her two kids came over for brunch which turned into brunch and lunch and they were here for the whole day and it was beautiful um, yeah so it was a good day I uploaded a vlog today as well and yeah everything is everything is good life is good um yeah i'm going to bed a bit later than i should be i was going to talk about how next how tomorrow would be fantastic and you know productive and blah 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 but i'm already going to bed really late today which i shouldn't be it's about one o'clock and i know i'm going to wake up and be tired i really should have gone to bed about two hours ago but i'm gonna go now and yeah Thank you so much for watching this vlog and subscribe to my channel if you're not already. I've already said all of this, so you know what to do. Like this video and yeah, I'll see you on my next video. Bye.